Okay. <laughs> I paid my phone for the day. <laughs> Those are cool. I was inspired by an event that's held in Olympia, Washington called Procession of the Species. Uh, which has been going on for about 15 years, and also by events like May Day in Minneapolis and Mardi Gras in New Orleans, uh, where I'm from. Uh, and I just wanted to try to start something in Madison that had a lot of those flavors where people could make giant puppets and masks. The theme is the natural world uh, and have a pageant and a parade. And uh, we held our first procession of the species pageant uh, on the summer solstice this summer, June 21st. And we're gonna gear up and do the same thing next summer in 2010. These tall puppets, they're made in a few parts so that they come apart really easily. And uh, our large puppets have a face, which is made of paper mache and cardboard. This face is a cardboard sculpture uh, with some paper mache over it and it's painted with house paint. All of our puppets are made of recycled or free materials. And to get the large scale of the puppet, the head is placed on bamboo poles and the bamboo poles fit into sockets on an old used backpack. And then the backpack straps on and that makes the skeleton of the puppet. And then there's a costume that's sewn to go over the whole structure and it's made of bed sheets and old fabrics. I've had a few intersections with puppetry in my life. When I was living in New Orleans, I uh, worked with um, the Heart of the Beast Puppet Theater that came down to do uh, summer art classes at a summer camp that I worked at. And that was my first introduction to giant puppets. And then when I moved to Madison, uh, just actually in the last year, I rejoined my interest to giant puppets when I joined Madison's Madtown Liberty Players. Uh, activist street theater troupe and uh, have been really involved in doing street theater in the last year and making the giant puppets for procession of the species as well. From the public it's been universally, wow what is that? Oh my gosh it's a giant owl. Oh my gosh what is that huge deer that's parading through the Atwood Summerfest? People are they're shocked and amazed and awed by these huge colorful cardboard figures that they don't expect to see appearing in front of them.